Welcome to Cheap Controls. On this YouTube channel, I make videos on things that I struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. I'm going to add to a tutorial that I did a while ago that showed how to use the Arduino along with the Nexion without the Nexion.h file, where we sent data from the Nexion display to the Arduino. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to send data from the Arduino back to the Nexion display and affect a change on the display. This is going to be a fairly simple tutorial. We're just going to send data up at an interval that's going to affect a progress bar. I'm going to make a third tutorial on this that's going to show how to interact between the two. For right now, what I have is I have a Nexion display here and an Uno set up. First thing we're going to do is add the progress bar to the Nexion display. So I have my Nexion display interface here. We're going to create a new file. I've got a folder here for it. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to call it Tutorial 1B. We're going to use the display we've used in the past. We won't be any, using any events at all on this. It's just going to be a bar. We won't need a font either with this because we're just going to use the progress bar. I'm going to make it fairly large so that we can see it. The thing you have to remember is the object name is J0. And then we're going to be altering the val. You have to remember that it's not value, it's V-A-L, all in lowercase. And then the value is 0 to 100. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this. And it's fine. So I'm going to upload it. I'm going to move this up here. You should see it change down here. Okay, you can see that it happened. We have a progress bar and it's set at 50% right now, or a value of 50. So now we're going to exit out of this. And now we're going to go ahead and bring up the Arduino interface. And for this, I picked it up exactly where we left off, the tutorial where I showed how to write the data, or collect the data from the Nexion display. You can see where it says while serial available, and then we would go down to this. So I wanted to show that it's only a couple lines of code. Move this over so you can see it a little bit better. What we will need for this is we'll need a variable. And then we're going to make an integer. And I'm just going to call it i, integer i. We're going to set it to 20. And this is just random. It's just. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have it increment and you'll see this bar will go up. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start it at 20. And then we'll just have it count up every couple of seconds. Now for the example, we're going to pretty much make it impossible for this to use because I'm going to put a delay in here. The delay is going to be 2 seconds. So this is just going to hold. So if we were sending data, there would be these horrible pauses. This is not a good way to do this. I'm just doing this for this example. And by putting the integer up here, we can use it throughout and we can increment it. If I entered it here and assigned a value, every time it looped it would reassign the same value, but I want it to increment. So in this case we're going to go ahead and write the information out. This line is what makes the display work. And all we do is we serial print. And we're going to print the name of the item that we want to adjust, which if you remember was J0. And then what we want to do is we want to set the value of it equal to something. In this case we're going to concatenate the variable. But we don't want it to be, oh, concatenate is, you have to have a plus. But we don't want it to be, we don't want it to send to 20, we want it to send a string of the character 2 and the character 0. So we need to go ahead and cast it as a string. And so it's going to take that integer value and it's going to turn it into a string. Action requires us to send three characters 
but they don't we don't want them to be in string format we want them to be the the hex values so in this case it would be serial write and in order to denote hex you put the zero and the x in front of it so it's zero x ff and it wants this three times and then finally we're going to go ahead and increment i so every two seconds it's going to increase the value it's going to start at 20 which I left this at 50 on purpose so you can see the change it'll go down to 20 and then every two seconds it's going to slowly increment across I'm going to go ahead and compile this just to make sure I don't have a typo and it looks good I have the Arduino plugged in but the serial or the but the Nexion display is still connected to the computer so I could program it. I need to take the receive line from the Nexion display and tie it to the transmit line of the UNO. And the transmit line, the transmit line is pin 1. And you can see I have a jumper in there. I have this a male jumper in here because the line out of here, the transmit, is a female so I can unplug it from my adapter, my USB adapter, and plug it directly in. I'm not sure how to show that to you without zooming in and out, and I'll get into that in the next tutorial. Make sure that I have the right board chosen and the right port, which I do. So now I'm going to go ahead and try and upload. I'll also open the serial monitor. We got the hello world. And you can tell that I picked up exactly where I left off because I still have that capital E in there. And here it is 20, 21, 22. You can see that this went backwards and now it's incrementing across. I'm going to go ahead and restart it. And what you can do is this happens to have that val um, instead of value, V-A-L, and you can set it to whatever you want. But you could do that with a text. You can do that with about anything. What you do is you identify the ID of what it is you want to change. In our case, it was the progress bar, J0, and then the attribute that you want and set it equal to. But you have to remember that this value here, the 24, 25, you can see it incrementing, must be sent as a string tied to that and then you have to finish it off by sending three hex value FFs. In my next video I'm going to go over how I'm going to put a button on the display that will go and it will read a temperature and then display it. Um, anytime you hit the button it will go to the Arduino, collect the temperature, it will show the value on like a progress bar or a gauge or something. But Then I'll also have a display that will show that um, value. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.